Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. You know, it's amazing that we live in a day and age now where uh, our people are deconstructing everything. It's kind of the, the deconstruction is the buzzword of the day, where they want to deconstruct uh, the way our world is working, and of course, this has kind of made its way into the church, and, and we have these steady stream of people who are deconstructing their faith. Now, what's really amazing is, is you know, the word deconstruction is like the trendy word for, hey, I'm walking away from my faith in Jesus. And I've talked to a number of people recently who are really struggling in their faith, and, and, and here's one of the things that I want to encourage you, is that one, is that doubt is actually part of the journey of trusting in Jesus. See, I realize that for all of us, you know, we we have doubts about things. God is infinite and we are not. God's word can be challenging and we don't always know what to do with it. And so sometimes we're like, hey, I don't know what to do with this. Now, the first thing is you have to remember is that God is not scared of your questions, right? God is not scared of your questions. So you have to bring them to the Lord. Now, you might not like God's answer to your questions, but God's not scared of him. And I believe that our doubts are an invitation from Jesus to draw us closer. But here's the thing. When we start doubting, we have to really be honest about why we're doubting. I find a lot of times people are deconstructing because they actually don't want Jesus to be the Lord of their life. There's uh, lifestyle choices and things that they want to do. Things that are like, man, I've been repressing this for so long. I don't want to repress it anymore. And they use deconstruction as the as the way out to really live the way they want to live. And I hear, here's what I want to tell you. Jesus invites us to be holy as he is holy. And when the Spirit of God is in you, then the Spirit of God is working us to experience the holiness that's been shared with us in Jesus. And we want to make sure that we're not just using deconstruction as a cop-out to not grow in the ways that God wants to grow. And then finally, here's the thing. If you're doubting, why don't you treat your doubts with the same measure that you've treated your faith? Like, when was the last time you doubted your doubts? When was the last time you poked holes in your doubts from an intellectual level, the way you're doing your faith right now? Because what I found is that Oftentimes, when people want to deconstruct, they don't ever doubt their doubts. They don't ever question their assumptions the way that they were question, questioning their previous assumptions. And it's an uneven scales, which guess what? That's an abomination to the Lord. So listen, I don't want anyone to deconstruct their faith. I want us to realize that there are times of doubt, but it's actually an invitation into a greater faith, a deeper faith, a deeper understanding of who the Lord is. So that's what I do. I want you to share this video because this is something that's going on everywhere. And we see it in the church now. And, and we want to see people built up in their faith. In the comment section, how are you dealing with your doubts? What, what are you doing to be able to, to work through the big questions that you have as you've been following Jesus? And we're going to learn from one another. And God bless you today.